The bread delivery. Hi, Peter. Alors, my friends call it back house. That's kind of a fr uh, English pronunciation, I would say. But that's that looks German to me. Back house. Maybe this is a funny too. Hi, Jason. So back house, uh, some, that comes from San Mateo. I think this is not a chain store. Chain, this is not a chain bakery. Hi, PG, ça va? Jessica, salut. PG, salut. On va goûter tout de suite. Late breakfast. Donc j'ai commandé une baguette. They have on their website uh, they have the most amazing bread selection. I started, I thought, to give this try a place. <laughs> to give this place a try. Bon, oula, ça commence par là. Je, les amis, si je commence à être vraiment fatiguée. <laughs> La fatigue s'annule. To give that place a try, it's always good to start with the classics, I think. So, la baguette qui a l'air bien croustillante. Il va falloir qu'on fasse une photo aussi, donc on met la baguette là. Croissant. Of course, all for me. Hey, we French people can't live without bread, and also, I'm going to freeze part of it, of course. I freeze bread always. Le croissant. Smells. Oh my god, it smells divine. On en a deux parce que bon, l'excuse c'est pour que je veux faire une belle photo. Mais bon, j'ai très faim en ce moment. J'ai pris un croissant, euh, non, un pain au chocolat, chocolatine. Chocolatine, c'est tellement mieux que pain au chocolat. C'est, Ça sent la France là, guys. Super, j'adore. I'm back in France. The other day we were back in Japan. Today I'm back in France. And I took this. Who knows, I might indulge in some sparkling today because. Uh, oh, voilà, je suis, uh, j'ai une super good girl yesterday. Guys, I think that this with bubbles, this is what they call a cheese and ham. Croissant, mais c'est plus en ça la forme. It has the shape of the pain au chocolat. That looks good, né? Hi, Francis. 1, 10 a.m. Aïe, aïe, aïe. So I have to taste quick first, uh, to, to try and taste quick, but I'd like to make picture first. Attends, je vais vous montrer ça. Regardez ça. Voilà, can you see? Bon, on va alors, hop, the bag. Qu'est-ce que je vais mettre? Je vais mettre ce sachet. Comme ça, on va avoir le nom derrière. Hop. I think the cheese and bread, cheese and ham, sorry guys, will probably better, be better warmed up, but uh, I want to keep it for tonight, but I say let's try it. Chocolatine, I guess, si oui. Vive Bordeaux, vive le Bordelais. I can tell you that I have a story about me saying this during seminar, ca calling le pain au chocolat chocolatine. I was doing a seminar introducing French products 
and <laughs> the maker complained. I can tell you that story afterwards. Let's start. I like to start with the croissant because in the chocolatini there is chocolate. So I like to start with the buttery, let's say plain taste first. I think the, the croissant looks good. It smells good, like croissant to be good, it has to smell of butter. I believe it really looks handmade, yes. Bon, itadakimasu. <laughs> When is the last time we had a real croissant? I've never had croissant this channel. Guys, even in France, I do not remember last time I had such a good croissant. Uh, it's amazing. It's super buttery. You heard the crunchiness. You can see even just from the aspect, you can see that this is a good, authentic, good quality uh, croissant because you can see all those layers. I'm sorry I missed a lot of comments, but to make croissant, actually when we, were, we started self-isolating a year ago, I wanted to give it a try. Guys, check out on YouTube. Seriously, I mean, it takes so long. It's so hard to make. It's basic ingredients, but it's so hard to make because it's very time consuming. And you have basically to fold that dough so many times. Let, let it rest. Fold, 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 let it rest. Fold, fold, fold. Just so, so mendoxai. So I will never make croissant, I think. Because I don't have time. Another thing is that a lot of places they use margarine. C'est ça, on dit prononce comme ça, pigis. Mar margarine, c'est ça, margarine. Margarine is not butter. The quality of pastries cannot be good if you use margarine. You have to use butter. Why do a lot of places do not use butter and use margarine instead? It's because margarine is cheaper. But then you don't, you can't get good quality products. Uh, this, I can assure you that, at, I know, so you même pas besoin d'aller voir, I don't even need to see how they make it. Because with the crunch we had and uh, the crisp, the taste it is it has to have croissant that buttery taste let me check out the bag and on this bag no it's not too greasy sometimes croissant you get croissants in france but then if it's too buttery it doesn't get really crunchy i think they just put the right amount of butter so that it doesn't get flat it raises nicely as you can see it has to and still has the crunch. If you add more butter, then it will be a little more flat. It will be also delicious, I think, but you will get a lot of grease fat on the bag. Let me try it again. And the taste is just so good, guys. Of a real croissant. The butter and I don't know. Je sais pas comment décrire un croissant. Comment tu décrirais ça, PG? You, I don't know. It has this taste that just plays with the back of your tongue. <laughs> Je sais pas ce que c'est, mais c'est 
c'est divine, voilà. Alors, on va goûter le pain au chocolat. They call this on their website also croissant, chocolate croissant. <rire> mais voilà, c'est ça quand même, on sait, c'est... Ouais, mais bon, it's rare to find a real croissant. So people actually do not know what a real croissant tastes like, don't you think, Peachy? I think so, and this is so go to this place to get the real stuff. I super validate this place, it's amazing. I can't even remember last time I had a real croissant. We don't call this croissant chocolate croissant. Croissant has this shape. This we call pain au chocolat, chocolate bread, even if this is a pastry. It has this kind of square shape and it has When I was a kid, in pain au chocolat, we only had one uh, stick of chocolate. Now, I think it's been something like 20 years or they put two. One boulanger started putting two and now everybody's doing that. But uh, tadakimas, that bit is the best, the, the better, my favorite. And you can see all the layers also here. Can you see? Tadakimas. Could you share? This one is crunchy too. What can be bad in pain au chocolat is when they use bad quality chocolate. This is good quality chocolate. Oh my God. Je vais tout manger. You can see the two sticks of chocolate. Uh, it has the authentic taste of pain au chocolat. Again, As the croissant, it's super high quality. To me, it's like being back in France. This beats, we have so many bakeries now, so-called bakeries that use, you know, industrial frozen things that they just bake in the morning. It's not handmade. It's very difficult to find artisan, uh, which is a really a problem. That's why I do not remember. I think I haven't been to France for something like two years, but I don't remember last time I had such a good pastry. Uh, uh, they use really high quality ingredients. I kind of wonder if maybe, just maybe, they are not using French flour because uh, American flour and French flour do not give you the same results. I know that because in Japan they use American and other flowers and there is that bakery in Shibuya, Viron, I've told you about Viron before, that uses French uh, flour and says, but pourquoi it's different? <laughs> so voilà, maybe I should investigate, I should go to that place someday and ask, ask them the question. Alors on va le goûter quand même, so, this is for tonight, tadakimasu. The ham and cheese, they call this croissant too. I think all this stuff is about 4.5 bucks. Uh, which for the quality, I guess, is not expensive. Even if at the beginning I thought, wow, this is a little expensive. I guess that, you know, for the quality, better have just one and eat the, the real stuff, right? So, itadakimasu again. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, bon. <laughs> mm. The cheese. Oh my god, that cheese is so good. It's a little grilled. Oh my god, that makes the whole difference. I can't tell you what kind of cheese 
it is I don't it tastes like Conti it is very tasty Conti is an expensive hard type cheese it tastes like it your craving from ham croissant I don't wear mm. Kaiser, Kaiser, we had him in, in Japan too. I've met the, the Japanese Shachoto guy who has the franchise in Japan. He's a very nice guy. Very, like, really cool. But this beats Kaiser. It's much more meilleur than Kaiser. That beats Kaiser. Sorry to say, but because, uh, voila, I don't know. It's just like so handmade, like artisan work. Alors, on va couper cette baguette. Let's try the baguette too. I have actually. This is going to be nice tomorrow with um, With the jams that Thomas sent me. Could you hear the noise? Yes, that bit is my favorite. So, je ne vais pas le presser plus là comme un citron, mon pain. That looks amazing. On va le goûter. The sound you could hear, I don't want to compress it more than I have. That's my favorite part, so yeah, it's so crunchy. Ne? I say, let's just open it. Open something. We have lemon jelly. Magical elderberry jelly and pistachio butter. I have to try it before adding this actually. Thank you once again. Mm. Oh, c'est bon. The real stuff. Perfect texture. Ah, perfect taste. It's not like those white industrial baguettes. It has, you know, c'est pas le goût, it's not the taste of sourdough, but you know, it has to have this kind of slight, you know, Samples, it's kind of it's a, a kind of bitterness, I would say. You know, at the end, you, if you've had real baguette, you know what it is. I hesitate in between the pistachio butter and the magical elderly jelly, elderberry. Alors, bon, ben je choisis. J'ai vu, j'ai vu dans trois petites choses, je vais choisir moi. Ah, ben très bien, tu vois, Adrian, we are on the same wave. Oh, c'est gay! Alors, we have to try it without bread first. T'as d'un qui m'offre. C'est vrai, it looks like guacamole, mais c'est pas du guacamole du tout. This is like pure 
this is like a pistachio that's incredible it's like pure pistachio you would have the pistachio but it's a light not too thick cream and you have to me this is like a very pure taste ベルベルさんこんにちは。元気になりました。この間ごめんなさいね。ちょっとあの泣いて泣いてた時、あんまりコメント見なかったんですよ。でも元気になりました。It's amazing. The ink well, contains pistachio. <laughs> Donc voilà. C'est assez incroyable ce truc. Donc let's try it with some bread. Uh, I have to think seriously, this can be used in some cooking. I think I can make some tartines with this probably because it's not sweet. incredible because I have pistachio as you know like this for with aperitif sometime and it's really like it's a paste of the pistachio and really, I can feel it's like you're, you know, you have the skin on the side that makes, that's a little bitter. You can't feel that. It's really like I'm tasting the heart of the pistachio. It has a very, like, I would say, young, you know, that, that green. L'exterior est un peu vieux, quoi, the inside. I would say that the outside is like dry and old. cette description. And this inside is moist and young. You're losing me, guys. I need to eat the croissant. I need to leave you. Make my tea and eat the croissant. Aliga, t'en es belle ou Oh putain. Ça me réussit pas la quarantaine. Donc voilà, you know, <laughs> j'en ai besoin. Bon, you know the inside, you, everybody has had pistachio at least once in his life or her life, ne? It's a heart, tu vois le gimbal, the gimbal is telling me, I think that my gimbal is, is starting to, c'est pas bon du tout là. Uh, it's that like young green taste. Pizza. Sorry, guys. Voilà, voilà. So that was uh, back house. Too bad that Brita is not with us. Je sais pas, ça, ça fait pas roulé, ça du tout, ça fait allemand, je trouve. Amazing. I love it. There are lots of good places south of San Francisco. Uh, if you're around here or even if it would be i would say a 30 40 minutes drive i would drive to get this because it's really really good they do uber eats or all those you know platforms you can get delivery thank you so much i'm a german but i don't know how to pronounce it uh baby boy is just not he's okay he's genki but he really hates the color hasn't been much uh, hasn't been eating much so i might have to get him to the vet if it keeps on not really being interested in in food i will enjoy all those carbs so what i do always is that you know i I freeze 
bread when I buy it. Right away, I put part of it in the freezer. If I still have some the following day, I just toast it. Uh, put butter, if you have nice butter, you put butter or whatever, those, you know, nice things that I will open a little at a time. Thank you again, Thomas, for sending that. The croissant for tonight, we'll see if I can get some bubbles. Uh, I'm going to, I will put information about, um, also I have a question. If you have, guys, please put a comment because my plan this time is to drink affordable, what I would call affordable wines. I hope that, you know, wines in between 15 and let's say maximum 30 bucks, but rather I would do in between 15 and 25 bucks. Uh, I'm, I would like, I'm going to do, to try and give you information uh, about afford what I would call, to me that's affordable. I mean, last time I had, all the wines I had were minimum 50 bucks a bottle. Donc là, euh, c'est bon quoi, j'ai pas les, c'est bon, les budgets euh, a changé. <laughs> And anyways, I, it's interesting for me to have, you know, those um, affordable bottles because like daily wines because I know I've rem I remember a few bottles that I've had in the past so I want to try those again to see if my taste has changed valuable champagne also will be on the menu uh, I've actually tried already a cava that is uh, 15 bucks and just like so good so um, I will put all this information on Instagram I will show you guys on Patreon when we do, probably this weekend, or we'll see why not tonight. I'll see if I drink something. I might, uh, I will tell you in advance, of course, at least an hour in advance. If I get myself something to drink and I drink today, we will see, not sure. Uh, I will show you all because I kept the bottles of the wines <laughs> that were good and I've had so uh, I think it might be interesting to, you know, share about our favorite bottles. If you have recommendations, guys, I'm super interested uh, because I don't know everything. Huh? So if you have wines to recommend me in between 15 and 25 bucks at the supermarket or total wine or, you know, please write a comment after this video because uh, then if, if, if I find it, I will try it. Huh? Uh, or if you want to send me wine, that works too. <laughs> Ça serait sympa aussi, voilà, parce qu'il n'y a que du vin que j'ai pas eu. Um, voilà, voilà. So that's uh, going to be on the menu. I'm behind at work because it's been really hectic since uh, Charlie Boy has been uh, out of the hospital. Alors non, non, je, on va éviter le week-end. I think I prefer wine in beans in a glass. But, um, or it will, I will end up cooking with it probably. I'm behind at work, so I need, um, you know, to try and work. But um, I don't know when next live stream will be. You'll see. Uh, I mean, I will, I will warn you in advance. Okay. Boxed wines. Uh, ça me fait peur. You worry me, guys. <laughs> Je préfère des, des putains de bouteilles avec du verre. Je veux des bouteilles avec du verre. Uh, I like, you know, it's like Coca-Cola. It's so much better when it comes... In, in a glass, in a real bottle, don't you think? Alors, le, en plastique, en cubi, non, mais là, vous allez m'achever, quoi, les gars, c'est pas possible. Why <laughs> with the red plastic uh, thing, yeah, to open. Uh, no, let's try and keep it drinkable, please. <laughs> Guys. 
So your, if you have any recommendations, please, I will, um, there are things I might, you know, make individual posts, but if not, there will be, you know, posts on Instagram also if I can't drink the stuff with you. Uh, and I will, you know, try and explain, okay, I had this wine for that price and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and with my patrons very soon promise by Monday let's drink together because uh, voilà, que je vais avoir besoin de break. I'm going to need a break very soon so a uh, <laughs> aperitif break voilà voilà sorry if I missed comments again ah Lisa s'énerve bon il va falloir j'y aille thank you so much guys much love that's the place you want to try if you're around San Mateo. You can pre-order as I did yesterday because this place is very popular. I hear they, that um, I have friends who go there very often and they say that they, it's, there is a big queue on weekends and they are sold out by noon. So um, pre-order. Taco Bell, yes, I have the list of all the live streams that I should be doing. We still have time, so I hope. Much love, have a great day, uh, good night. Well, Japan is sleeping, so. De matane, matai, masho. Thank you so much. Et à très très bientôt. Bye guys.